In this video, I will be discussing on how to generate the trace file and how to analyze the trace file in NS3 using trace matrices application. Okay, let us take the same example uh, which we have used in previous video that is uh, how to simulate the point to point network using NS3. So I recommend you first you watch uh, my previous video uh, simulation of point to point network using NS3. Uh, the video link is available in my description box. So first you watch it. So I am taking the same example. So as we already know, the file is available in the scratch folder. Okay. And this is what the file p2.cc. So this is what the program. I think uh, you, uh, you already know that if you have watched the video, you might have easily understood that I am just creating uh, two nodes point to point with all the parameters. And here I am setting the client and server. So this explanation I have already uh, done in my previous video. So in this video, I will tell you how to generate the trace file. So we have seen even the output of this file where we are just getting uh, the data communication between the client and server. If you want, I will just show you the output once. I'm just entering into my root directory. I'm just changing into the path. So here I will just execute the code dot slash f hyphen hyphen run scratch. My file name is p2. So this all I have already shown in my previous video. So please watch the video which is available in the description box. So this is what the output we have seen. Just a general uh, client server communication. Okay. So here now I will show you how to generate the trace file for the same uh, code. Okay for the same point to point network. So in order to do so, you need to add two lines here. Okay. So this is what the line, if you want to just zoom it. You should just ask ASCII trace helper. You need to take that package and the object I'm creating is ASCII. You can give any name there. So I'll just copy and paste. Okay. So as trace helper is the package and as is just an uh, object for that. So using that object, now I will just uh, uh, create uh, the trace files for the point to point network. So here what I'm doing, I'm just taking the point to point object. This is what the object now for point to point network. Here I've created point to point variable object. So point to point dot, I am enabling the ASC all for all the two nodes, the trace file will be generated. So this is what the object ASC dot, I am just creating the file stream. That is what the trace file. And the name for that file is p2.tr, okay. So p2.tr, I'm just giving the same file name, not over. So now I will try to run the program once again. So and I will check whether this p2.tr file has been created or not. Okay. Add, just add these two lines is more than enough. Then automatically this trace file will be created. So I will run the same code once again. Yeah, just I will see whether the file is created or not. Just click uh, type ls. Yeah, here you can see the p2.tr file has been generated. Then how to analyze or how to read that file? So in order to read the trace file, we need what the application known as trace matrices. So please keep one thing in mind. In order to read the, uh, already have uh, uploaded one more video on bus topology. In that I have shown you how to generate the dot uh, xml file that is network animator file so in order to read the dot xml file 
we are using the network animator application. Then we have also shown you how to generate the PK files. So in order to read those PK files, we are using the Wireshark tool. And today in this video, I am showing you uh, how I have shown you how to generate the TR file. In order to read this TR file, we need uh, trace matrices application. So first, we need to download the trace matrices application. Okay. So follow the procedure. First, download the trace matrices application. Then, using the trace matrices, we can analyze this uh, TR file. Okay. So this is what the steps. So first, this uh, trace matrices is a uh, Java tool. Okay. Uh, for that, you need to first install all the Java packages. Okay, so this is what the Java package. Just to install this. So I'm just zooming it to understand. So it's sudo space apt hyphen install default iPhone JDK. So all the Java packages will be installed. So just to go to again uh, terminal and just to install those packages. I'll just go to root directory. So as I told you, just to type that command, that is sudo space apt install, okay, default iPhone JDK. Okay, sudo space apt hyphen apt space install space default iphone jdk okay just click enter so all the packages related to uh, jdk as well so i have already uh, installed so it is not uh, taking the packages once again so if not it will take all this so it is up to date so once it is done so you need to uh, download uh, the trace matrices application so however i will uh, uh, give i have given the uh, link to download the trace matrices uh, in the description box, you can just take the same link. This is what the link. You can just uh, browse the link in the uh, Ubuntu platform and just to download. Okay, so I have already downloaded. So this is what the trace matrices uh, folder. You can see now trace matrix 1.4.0 .zip. What you can do, just uh, you can copy this link which I have given in the description box and paste it in the browser. Then automatically it will. Uh, go to downloading link. Uh, here you can see you just click on the download. So your download will start so shortly. So this trace matrix will automatically download it. Okay. So after downloading, you will get the file something like this, which is a GIF file. You can see now trace matrices iPhone 1.4.0 in GIF. So right click it and then go for uh, extract. Okay extract here once you extracted you will get file something like this trace matrix 1.4.0 so you just click on it you see that all these three uh, files should be there in the trace matrix one is a library file a readme file and then trace matrices jar. so once you have downloaded then you need to uh, call that application in order to read the trace file so let's see what is the procedure okay so once you installed, what you can do, it is there in the desktop now. Just I am changing it to my directory, change directory to desktop. So in the desktop, I can find my trace matrix folder. Okay, not GIF folder, extracted folder. So change to that directory. So here I have given the steps for your understanding. Change to trace matrices. So just change directory to trace matrices 1.4.0. Okay. So now you just type this command Java space iPhone jar trace matrices dot jar. Okay. Just you type Java space iPhone jar trace matrices dot jar and then click enter. Then you can see the trace matrix application will open now. One second. So the Java spelling is mistake. You just type properly Java space iPhone jar space trace matrices dot jar. Here I made a spelling mistake. Okay, then click enter. Then trace matrix application will open now. So 
it takes uh, some time. is loading. Yeah, this is what the test what is application. It's just loading, taking some time. So that uh, yeah, we can see this is what the trace matrix application. There you can see the file option file, choose file. So here you should choose the path where that a trace matrix file is available in NS3. Huh? So just to go to root. So this path from there you can go to my path file. Where it is that uh, go from there you go to ready desktop NSRN1. NS3.27, and there you can see the p2.tr. Okay, this path you need to go, NS3.27 folder. Just click open, then you can see the name of the file is p2.tr, the size is 1954 bytes, uh, and uh, some data, just execute analysis. Then you'll get the deep analysis here. You can see here what is the file name, uh, lines on file, all those things. So nodes, if you click, there are two nodes, that is 0 node, the complete information, first node, one is client, the other one is a server, and what is its throughput? And the data set is also available. What is the streams? You can see all UDP streams, UDP 0, 1, all those. Even if you want, you can export uh, this file directly into some uh, location of your file. So in this way, you can analyze the uh, trace files using the trace matrices application. Okay. So thank you, and subscribe for more videos. Bye.